so I'm just going to show you some quick tutorials here on how to simplify some Boolean algebra. Now what you will need is you will need to have your laws handy while you're working through these. Eventually you will need to be able to carry out these laws without looking at this in your exam. But some things that are instantly going to help you out and things that you will want to remember is if you see a dot you can almost see that as a multiplication symbol because we know whenever we multiply something by zero we are going to end up with zero so just bear that in mind in some of these questions that we're going to do I'm also going to walk you through the rules of if you see a line above the letter that means not but what you need to remember is if you say for example had not a by putting another not over that it then becomes a and you'll see that as I work through some of these answers so what we've got here is we've got one of our first simpler questions I will try and split this into two parts so that it will help you get some of the more complicated problems here alright so what we've got here is B and dot means and plus means or just in case you've not remembered that now when we have a or not a if you refer back to the rules all right a or not a is equivalent to one so if I move this over here now I've now got B and one now looking at our rules again B and 1 is equivalent to B so simplifying that again I now end up with B alright so again that rule there when you have that rule there was called the inverse law okay so if you see symbol if you see a plus and an A with a not A or any letter that you substitute that's the inverse law and that is going to get you straight down to 1 but then when it is B and 1 the answer is always going to be B okay so it's dependent on that now <clears throat> as we go down here this is pretty straightforward to follow there's only one rule that you need to apply here and if you have a look it is the absorption rule okay a plus a dot b is equal to a in this case we've got the b right so you could swap that those symbols around because we look at the multi see if you see a dot as a multiplication and think about the order of precedence we always work that side first so if I really wanted to there I could swap that around and I've got similar to what I see here if it's going to help you visualize that but absorbing this what you would end up with was a B alright so those two questions there simplifying those in boolean algebra you've ended up with a B and a B alright this question here becomes slightly more complicated so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to separate this in two separate entities if you like alright what I'm going to do, and there are lots of other people that do this in lots of different ways, is I'm going to expand this out. I'm going to first work on this side by sorting out the knots, and then I'm going to expand it out. First thing that you want to do here is I'm going to end up with that being the same. But when I look at the brackets, because I've got a knot A, if I knot that again, that becomes A. Whenever you see a knot over a sign, we flip the sign. So we negate the sign. That now becomes dot. And again, what we've got here is not B, but we negate that, so it becomes B. Now, some people okay, will expand that out. And if you do expand these brackets out, what you end up with is, so if I expand the brackets here, is I'm going to end up with not 
B dot A dot not B and B. Okay, let's have a look at our rules again. You will get faster with these, but if you refer back to our rules here, what we can see is when we have a regular with a not, it becomes zero. So this here, this section here, all right, again, using the inverse law, becomes a zero. So what you've ended up now with is a not B, A, zero. Now the thing is, when we multiply, so you've got to imagine that the dot, okay, you've got to remember that the and is between this. When we use an and, a and zero, okay, well, we're going to end up with a zero again. This time, we've got not b and zero, but again, we're going to be ending up with a zero again. So when we simplify that, the end result is a zero. Now, I'm going to do a slightly more complicated set of results and walk you through how I would approach it so you can see how those laws are applied in those situations. These are just one example of it, but you can apply it to other rules, okay? So I'm going to walk you through those and show you how to do them.